All right, so we're back to work on this uh, X585. So now that it runs uh, well, in the last video, I showed you that um, there was a coolant leak. Uh, I believe it is coming out from somewhere right in this area, uh, which can be a couple things. Uh, it can either just be a bad seal, or it can be the water pump's worn out and is leaking out of the weep hole. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is, but in either case, uh, basically what I need to do is I need to pull the muffler off. Now, I've already pulled the battery box off or in the muffler cover, or already pulled the battery out in the muffler cover off. This is the battery box in this area right here. Uh, I think all I need to do is pull the muffler off. Um, I'm sorry I did not get the pulling the, the, the cover off, but basically that is just, uh, there's a, a bolt back here, there's a bolt on the hinge, there's another bolt on the hinge, and there's a bolt back here, and then a bolt right here. So in total, there's five bolts that bolt the hinge on. Now, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm actually going to have to get in here and take this out. Because I am looking at how the muffler attaches to the frame, and we're, we're down here. And I'm pretty sure there would probably be one over there. So this is going to be one of those kind of poke at it as we go to figure it out. Um, you know, basically, I think I'm just going to set you up on the uh, just to watch and I'll kind of just work at it. All right. So looking at how all this goes together, we got to basically get back in here um, behind the muffler to get to the water pump. <clears throat> But we've got to figure out how the muffler comes off. Um, so that's just going to take us a little bit of searching, I think. I think all of this has to come out right here. Um, I think it's held in by two bolts. One of, problem is one of them is back here. That's going to be just an absolute pain to reach, I think. So let's uh, let's see what we can come up with. Mm. Well, I thought it was, I thought this was going to be easy. The one in the back there isn't that hard. Okay. There's one bolt. Now let's see best way to get at this one is probably use a ratcheting wrench. Problem is moving. That just means that this little bolt is going to take about four hours to put back in. Okay. Okay. We got the battery cable we got to deal with. There we go. 
All right. There's that. Okay, so now I can get to my four bolts and then my four bolts up here, which that's a good thing. So let's start by taking these off. I'm always scared that I'm going to these muffler bolts. I'm always scared I'm going to break them off in the engine block, which would be a disaster. Now when I Three and four. Now we should be able to take the muffler off just like that. Fantastic. All right, now before I lose any parts, I'm gonna go ahead and put these bolts back in here. And now we can fully see the water pump right here. Um, I'm going to say Based on what I can initially see, it is probably going to need a new water pump. Um, just based on where all of the residue is, my guess is it's coming from the weep hole. Um, all right, so now what we have to do, that so we can see everything, um, what I want to do is I want to drain the coolant system down a little bit. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to drain it. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do it because ultimately I'll have to put coolant back in here. And I hate working with coolant because you know we we do have dogs and so I, I don't really don't like I don't like working with coolant with the dogs and stuff. Um, so I try to be really careful when I take it out of a machine. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drain it and obviously I'm going to spill some no matter what, but I'm just going to get a big uh, container and put underneath the tractor and kind of use that uh, to drain it out. So let me work on that and then we will uh, come back and we'll take the water pump off. All right, so I got the draining. I guess that's one good thing that the <clears throat> Government juice is good for the government juice containers. You can drain a John Deere radiator into it. Um, so I've already got this hose clamp removed right here. I've got the big pan underneath the engine. And so I'm actually just going to kind of help drain it a little bit rather than sit here and wait for 18 hours. Just, just a little bit more. And we'll just let this, I'll just kind of let sit, let hold this here and help drain the whole system. So I'm gonna do that once it's all drained and I got this hose right here removed. We'll uh, take the water pump apart. All right, so let's tackle this water pump. I've still got the radiator itself draining, but we're just gonna pull the cover of this water pump off. I 
wouldn't give me my socket back. All right, got all those loose. Now, a lot of times these bolts are gonna be a little bit different height. So try to keep them in some semblance of an order. So, so far this one was long, this one was long, this one was short. That one was long. And I believe this one is a long one. Yep. Okay. So that is the cover. So hopefully now I can. I want to make sure that. Yeah, this is just going to be a little bit to remove because it's, it's held on by sealant, which I really don't like, but there we go. There's going to be additional. All right. So what did I find? Not much. Nothing. Uh, nothing that really, really concerns me. To be honest, so I'm going to go ahead and take the water pump itself off. I think while we're this far into it, we might as well do that. I'm not seeing anywhere, so this would be the bottom. I'm not seeing anywhere on this sealant where it would have been leaking. Hmm. This might be just one of those reseal jobs. The water pump has got a little bit of play to it but not anything terrible so let's just where the impeller does so why don't we just take and we'll pull everything else off hopefully this is a decent view Okay, that's a short. Short. Super short. And super short. All right, so now figure out how to get this uh, water pump itself off without uh, screwing something up. Hmm. 
All right, just took a little persuasion. I just went and got a uh, went and got a uh, rubber mallet, and that was what got it off. All right, so nothing that tells me I should be concerned about something about this water pump. So literally, I think what we are going to do is we are going to clean up the gasket surfaces. And after we clean up the gasket surfaces, I don't have any on hand, but we will get <clears throat> some uh, coolant sealing compound. And we will seal this bad boy up. I mean, there's the impeller. There's nothing wrong with the impeller. There's no evidence of rubbing or anything like that. Uh, maybe a little bit of slight rubbing. But not... Oh, no. I think that was just... Oh. Yeah, I um I think just the seal was bad. Because the weep hole is right here. And um the only thing that concerns me is I'll put this thing back on there. And so that weep hole is up underneath there. And uh coolant will start coming out that weep hole again. Decisions, decisions. All right, well, I'm going to go think about this, and um, I don't know how long this is going to be. Maybe I'll wait till I get a water pump or wait till I reinstall it. So we'll see.